one star here, Brian Boyle with a game-winning goal and a huge block there at the end of the game. You guys really laying it on the line, knowing how important these two points were. What was it like shutting it down in the third period at the end there? Could have probably done a bit of a better job. You know, the, getting some penalty trouble, it's a good team and a proud team that we're playing. So we, we uh, good thing for us, we learned the lesson and we still got two points. It was, it was nice for Monty too. We put him in a tough spot and he held strong, uh, especially at the end. Talk about him coming into the game cold and, and just being able to put on quite a performance there all through the end. Just what can you say about his effort tonight? Well, it, I don't know how goalies operate. I don't know how they do it, but it's uh, it's great to see that we've gotten some depth there, there and uh, it's tough to see Driegs go down, you know, but Monty comes in. He's ready. He's been on a couple different flights this week back and forth and for him to come in and then do as good as he did and, and we put him in a tough spot with the PK, but he closed it out nice. Another night where production came from all across the lineup. How important has it been this team being so balanced offensively. Yeah well we all you know we all want to contribute we all want to play we all want to be a part of getting this team into the playoffs and having a lot of success so I think we've pushed each other pretty well. Uh, we can continue to do that and keep getting better. We're, we're fortunate to come out with two points. I thought we played really well most of the game but we can learn a little bit of a lesson here and, and close out the homestand the right way. All right, Brian, congratulations. Let's hear it for him, fans. A big win before they head on the road. All right, Brian, thanks so much. Team, you guys feeling pretty good in here right now? Yeah, we feel, we feel pretty good. Um, up until the last, like, three minutes there, we were, we were really buzzing and, and making things happen. So I think uh, we'll just forget about the end of that, learn from it, and, uh, and move on. And, and, you know, it's great to have these wins and um, good to do it at home. Like you said, the majority of this game, uh, much like the last two games, it seemed like you guys were in full control, a lot of puck possession. Have you guys learned something there about your game? Yeah, I mean, obviously puck possession is a huge uh, factor for us. It's something that we think about every day. Um, uh, you know, when you're late in the shift, if you're going to go dump it in, sometimes you just pull it back and reset instead of uh, giving them a chance to have the puck. So uh, it's things that we've been learning all season. The, the systems, I think, are, are really sinking in for us, D-zone, neutral zone, and O-zone, so we feel good. What were your thoughts on how Monty Dale, they're given the situation you feel like do? Yeah, that's tough for a goalie. I can only imagine. Um, I, I'm not a goalie, so I don't know how it feels, <laughs> but uh, I can imagine it's tough to come in cold like that, but he did a great job. Uh, hung in there for us and did, a, did as best he could. Another night where power play comes in big, steps up big. Just what is working so well with that whole unit right now? Special teams league. Um, you know, they scored two of their goals on the uh, on the power play to come back there a little bit. So um, that's huge. We got them, got a, a nice cushiony lead, and and uh, you know, hopefully next time we can just kind of settle down and, and take care of it a little bit better. You expect the wow factor goals from that top line, but to see that play between Toninato and Vitrano was pretty special too. Yeah, um, plus, yeah, for sure. Um, it's great when guys have confidence to make plays. That's uh, the type of league it is. You got to make plays. You want to fool the goalie, and, and uh, our power play does a great job of that. You set up Maddie for a nice goal tonight. Do you guys feel like that, that pairing is really settling into something good right now? Yeah, yeah. I love playing with him. Um, he really, really um, is strong out there on the puck, um, in the corners. Uh, not afraid to make plays, not afraid to make mistakes, and, and that's huge. I think uh, uh, we give each other a lot of confidence, and we're feeling good right now, so we'll keep rolling with it. Thanks, Michael. Well, Monty, one day you're hopping on a flight back, and the next you're going in cold and making quite a few saves. Just what was the last few hours been like for you? It's been, uh, I've been running around a lot. Uh, I had three flights in three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then, yeah, at least I had a chance to get a great, a good practice yesterday. And uh, we had a skate this morning, too, and uh, obviously I wasn't expecting to play in that one, but uh, turns out that we played very well, and we had a good win. How did you feel the guys supported you, knowing that you were going in cold? They really seemed to rally around and help you out there. Yeah, they did a great job. Like, as soon as I stepped on the ice at uh, Matheson, a few guys came to me and were like, hey, we're going to talk to you. Uh, we're going to do our best here to make it easy for you. So they did been great to me. But you've been playing some pretty good hockey in the NHL leading up to the start. Did that help kind of coming up here on an upswing for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that when they first sent me down, that, that was the biggest point I needed to work on. I get my confidence back. Uh, I've been like my f last four start in spring have been really good. So obviously it helps when I come in here. Like uh, they scored three goals like back to back here in the third. So having that confidence helps to like, really stay focused and stay composed. Especially in the last minute, a lot of blocks, a lot of desperate plays. How much does that help as a goalie to see that in front of you guys, just laying it all out on the line? It's great. Like the guy, the guy wants to win. But I think it's uh, Boyle did a great block at the end. Uh, and we're able to clear the puck after that. So obviously it really helps the goalie. New on uh, Reeves? Uh, no. no. We'll probably have a better idea you know, going into the next year or two, see so it comes out of it. But it's a lower body injury that might be might need some time, but time will be determined uh, with a better idea tomorrow. And 
that said, is, is Bob okay enough to? He's work he's Saturday? close. He's close. Um, um, we're gonna say that's that's something we'll have to gauge tomorrow. Okay. But he's close. Well, we're on the topic of goaltenders. Obviously, Montembeau coming in cold after traveling quite a bit these last few days is a pretty impressive performance for him. Given yeah, I thought he really was comfortable at the beginning of the game there, and I thought that uh, he was doing some good things. That we, we, I thought we played well in front of him. I thought we had one of those perfect game goings, and all of a sudden they score, and whole complexion of the game changed. And now we're four three, and now we're sitting there. Let's, uh, you know, let's hold on here. So it was a. Uh, he did what he had to do. I mean, obviously, you know, you, you give a, a you know, we lose the momentum in a game like that. And I thought he, you know, he didn't get really tested after that, but I thought he was composed and for most of the game and did what he had to do. Another game where you, it seems like you guys really got the start you wanted as well. Yeah, good score and early power play. Went one of those wild goals that uh, was special. I think everybody touched it at least once and moved it around crisply and uh, had a nice finish to it. And, and that uh, Tony's pass over to Frankie was a perfect play and nice goal as well. And after that, we're in, we're in a pretty good spot. You know, we had the perfect third period going. We're doing everything right. And, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you got to make sure we close that out in a, in a better way. And yeah, but we got it done. And right. result, you get the win, though. Is it good to have Montebo get in there and then face him in each other? Uh, yeah, you know, with goaltending, you know, we we, we feel that uh, they're always important for your team, and uh, and winning is what we're all about. And, and I think that uh, wasn't uh, your traditional way of going about it, but we, uh, it was a big win for him and for us. And, and uh, you know, you look at tonight, uh, the standings and the teams that are moving up and down, it's, uh, it's getting even tighter and closer every single day when you're looking at the standings. So it's, uh, it was important for that, most importantly. Every game win streak could carry that momentum into the final road trip before the break to be able to go out on a high note at home. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we talked about these six games earlier now we're down to this road trip here and uh, it's kind of a mixed road trip with the uh, road trip, road trip out of the break and into it. Um, so it's, you know, these are important games for us and uh, we got to play like we did for the most part on this homestand here at the end of it and uh, and find a way every game is going to be important and, you know, the value of those points are going to be huge for us, uh, going to be determining a lot at the end. Brian Boyle gets a huge goal and then also a big block to end the game there. Just how big was his game tonight? I thought he did a lot of good things tonight. Uh, Boiler is always in a good, uh, good place as far as positionally goes. Uh, they had a couple of big shifts where they had good long cycle shifts in the offensive zone, especially early in the game. Um, they're noticeable. They had uh, some good face-up uh, starts in our own end where they killed the play and got it out and in the zone. So. You know, you, you notice him. You know, I think he's a big man with a purpose behind his game, and uh, obviously when he scored, he almost scored right after that as well. So it was a uh, it was a good night for him. The speed of the Toninato Vetrano pairing is, is really apparent, but for him to make that pass, which Frankie said was at, at eyes in the back of his head, is is that something that you expect from them every night? Um, well, I think Tony's got a little offense to his game. I think he's got some responsibility in there as well. Um, I thought he was cutting in there and going to go all alone at the goalie, and all of a sudden he, he saw that that hole, or he made a great pass to the guy and uh, right on the stick. And, that, and Frankie, you know, the opportunity was he had it one time it right there and it made a good shot. So it was a uh, it was a big goal for us at that time, and you know the second period was kind of quiet, and I think that was uh, put us in a good spot starting. Do you anticipate having to call anyone up? Um, right you know second? what? Right now, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say no right now. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.